You are the Avatar. Welcome back to Director's Choice. Fire, air, water, earth, and you should know how it goes if you've seen the Avatar show. Beginning with Ong's adventures, after being frozen for decades, the Avatar franchise follows a series of missions and obstacles to the realization of the Avatar's true potential. Hey everyone, sorry I was gone so long. Hey Aang, I didn't notice you left. Yep, but now I'm back. Now, Ong's journey was a novel story to mainstream media, so there were high expectations for Korra's story, but fans were left underwhelmed. From the timeline switch to the differences in plot development, there were several lapses in Korra's story that many of us believe would be filled with another Avatar franchise. I know you. I was good friends with Avatar Aang. Iroh. Hello, Korra. In this episode of Director's Choice, we're going to carefully explore all the reasons why we think we should all get another Avatar franchise. And, of course, the unanswered questions that we hope will be solved in the new show. If it ever comes out. What are you doing here? In my country, we exchange a pleasant hello before asking questions. Will the next Avatar really be an Earthbender? Are we going to take a trip back in time and start with a firebending master of all elements? Will Korra's sexual orientation have any effect on the origin of the next Avatar? Okay. I've always wanted to see what the spirit world's like. Sounds perfect. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video for some exciting facts about the possibility of a new Avatar franchise. Here is everything you need to know about why we need another Avatar franchise. Let's get right to it. Then. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop them. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. Avatar is way more than the persona of the character playing the role. It is a historic legacy that is transferred across generations of people who become worthy. Well, while that is the whole essence of the Avatar, fans felt that it was watered down in Korra's story. Let your anger out, and then let it go. Forgive him. Okay, we'll be sure to do that, Guru Goody Goody. There was something about the non-technological setting during Ong's time that drew fans further into the story. Challenges and achievements of Ong and his friends. The disconnection between public opinion and the legend of Korra was so large that fans were quick to express their displeasure. But no matter what happens, no matter how crazy things get, I'll always try to restore balance. It certainly didn't help matters that the live-action movie of Avatar The Last Airbender had terrible ratings on all platforms with severe criticism. Some believe he is the chosen one. Lack of representation in the casting, subpar acting, and an overall significant margin between the quality of the animation and the production of the movie left fans feeling very dissatisfied. Still aside, Phil. He means no offense. I'm certain you bathe regularly. When you put all these details together, it becomes quite evident that there should be another Avatar franchise, whether or not there is a remake of the movie. Some believe there is still hope. Although the latter seems like a bigger possibility than an animation franchise, there are several loose ends and narratives that can be pursued with another Avatar franchise. You have finally connected with your spiritual self. How? When we hit our lowest point, we are open to the greatest change. The first point to explore a continuation of the Avatar franchise is the comic series that has been developed based on the stories of both Aang and Korra. As the two main characters featured in cinematic adaptations, Aang and Korra have had their stories continued in several comic books. Aang has eight comic books that follow his life beyond the endpoint of the animated show. You can't always see the light at the end of the tunnel, but if you just keep moving, you will come to a better place. In the graphic novels which are titled The Promise, The Search, The Rift, Smoke and Shadow, North and South, Imbalance, Katara and the Pirate Silver, and Toph Beifang's Metal Bending Academy, Ong's life and adventures continue to an exciting peak. 
Ang, this is my friend, Fufu Cuddly Poops. Fufu Cuddly Poops, Ang. Aw, what a cute name for a little baby saber tooth moose lion cub. Korra's The Legend of Korra is also expanded as trilogies in Turf Wars and Ruins of the Empire. Her relationship with Asami also comes to clearer limelight in these graphic novels. Wanna sit with me for a minute? I'm not ready to get back to the party just yet. With the stories and plot paths available in the comic series, there is endless possibility of stories to develop into adaptations, particularly for a new animated Avatar series franchise. My name is Korra. I'm the Avatar. There is also the potential for a new movie to be produced with a stronger plot than the first live-action attempt. The first movie adaptation for the Avatar The Last Airbender animated series fell short of expectations by a long margin. But a new movie with better casting, a well-developed plot, and the right training for bending effects will no doubt be a fan favorite. I needed to understand what true suffering was so I could become more compassionate to others. The most certain thing about the creation of another franchise, however, is that it must focus on the personal journey without neglecting the responsibilities that come alongside the title of the Avatar. If I try, I fail. But if I don't try, I I'm never gonna get it. I feel like I'm caught between a rock and a hard place. Nonetheless, a comic to movie or comic to animation adaption on Ang, Korra, or a new Avatar entirely would be a great way to move the franchise forward positively. There are tons of possibilities for a sequel, and that's where the majority of our questions will likely be answered. All in all, another Avatar franchise would be a great way to create the perfect trilogy. The past can be a great teacher. Whoa! Now that we have established that the content to push another Avatar's franchise is available, and with the amount of print work available that is a surplus, we have to take a closer look at the plot. A new Avatar franchise can be a remake of the live-action movie, but to excite fans, it would be better to see the story of a new Avatar. All right! Team Avatar is back! Air, water, earth, fire, fan and sword! The Legend of Avatar extends across decades and generations ahead of Aang, meaning that there is a lot of uncharted territories to creatively produce a prequel that will beautifully tie into Aang's story. You did it! You're an earthbender! I can't believe it! Ah, oh, this is really a wonderful, touching moment. Utilizing the flashbacks in Avatar The Last Airbender as the base plot to weave an excellent predecessor story to Aang's time would definitely rock with fans of history. A prequel could go as far back as establishing the stories of the past Avatars, who were key in shaping Ong's journey to become the great Avatar he was during his time. Appa, Appa! I can earthbend now. The key is being completely rooted, physically and mentally unmovable. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> But some people are tired of the unbecoming story that has been the go-to in comic adaptations. So, maybe a dive into what the future will be like post-core may be ideal for another Avatar franchise. I've realized that even though we should learn from those who came before us, we must also forge our own path. The plot development for any Avatar franchise that would be a sequel to Korra's story has to clarify some theories and questions that fans have long held on to. Uh, what did you say to her exactly? Firstly, there is the issue of the new Avatar's ability. Following the natural order of the Avatars, the next Avatar should be an Earthbender who will go on to master the other elements. However, as introduced in Ong's story and further developed in The Legend of Korra, there are non-benders and benders who have more than one element or skill combined like lava benders, metal benders, and blood benders. Whoa. That's a lot of fire, isn't it? With the possibility of an avatar developing those skills right from the start, other than finding them during Day Ex Machina moments like Ong, it could mean a new order for the avatar lineage. And I will lead them all as the new avatar. 
Well, I'm the old Avatar, and my era's not over yet! Additionally, one of the most common theories among fans is that all the past Avatars take on a semblance of their predecessor's greatest love, which explains Ong's resemblance to Roku's wife, and Korra's striking resemblance to Katara. I don't see why not. Well, scientifically speaking, there's no way to prove that- Oh, Sokka, just hold hands. What this appearance theory would mean for another Avatar franchise as a sequel is a confirmation that the new Avatar would have a close resemblance to Asami, Korra's love interest. The spirit world is very mysterious, but so is love. Help yourself to some tea and cakes. They are spirit cakes, so you won't gain any weight. One more possible plot path for a new Avatar franchise would be to fill the gap between The Last Airbender and The Legend of Korra, but that may not receive as much credit as a sequel edition or even a prequel. Korra, please come in here. I'm the Avatar! You gotta deal with it! There is more integrity to the title than the excitement and rush of superior abilities. And that's one thing we believe fans would like to see better than what was portrayed in The Legend of Korra. Grand Grand, I missed you. What about Korra and the others? Don't worry. They're all right. Korra saved the world. With a prequel or a sequel that would match up to the quality of standard in The Last Airbender, while perfecting The Legend of Korra and its lapses, a new Avatar or a continuation story of the old Avatars would be a great addition to the franchise. It's the Avatar state and I'm the Avatar. Who appreciates it more than me? An undeniable reason we need another Avatar franchise is the general displeasure with how the franchise has stemmed off since Avatar The Last Airbender was released. Why is your forehead all red? Nobody react to what I'm about to tell you. I think that kid might be the Avatar. While a lot of fans were okay with the progress of Korra's story, several others thought that the leap into a more political and economic environment was too brash. There were also doubts about the overall quality in the continuation of The Legend of Korra in the animated series. But it wasn't regarded with ratings as low as the live-action movie for Ong's story. Ong, we have to go. In order to fulfill the standards and expectations of fans and general viewers, it would be essential to have another Avatar franchise that would sufficiently seal loopholes and provide quality entertainment at the same time. That is the day we will win this war and prove the Fire Nation's dominance. Of course, it is close to impossible to create the perfect movie or animated series to please all the fans. However, it is more realistic to review the standards and quality of Avatar The Last Airbender and compare it to how a new Avatar franchise would perform. It's beautiful. Ong's story gained global recognition for its innovative storytelling, something that Korra's legacy doesn't really bank on as much as it emphasizes character development in finding the best way to balance both qualities and deliver amazing entertainment for fan satisfaction. Your teacher will be someone who has mastered neutral G. You need to find someone who waits and listens before striking. Hey, Momo! Avatar is a legendary character whose story is interwoven in past and future characters. Inevitably, there will always be loose ends to tie up with each franchise that is produced, as the Avatar has several phases and timelines. Nevertheless, one thing remains at the center of all Avatars, the course they must follow to achieve their life's missions. Honestly, after everything that's happened the past few months, I could use a vacation. Let's do it! Let's go on a vacation, just the two of us! They battle against personal desires, and the responsibility that comes with the Avatar title. Ong had to learn as a young boy, and Korra learned from his mistakes in several ways. These details prove that every new Avatar franchise would, in more than just physical appearance, have a strong affiliation with the line of Avatars that have existed. Things will never be the same again. We are entering a new age. The central lesson is to stick true to personal values and simply be good. It worked for Ong and Korra, 
so we know it will come to shine with a new Avatar franchise. That's all for today. Thank you for joining us on the breakdown of why we need another Avatar franchise. Take a look at this other recent clip by Director's Choice and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified with our latest videos. It's over.